When you become reverential, something rises up there and you are here. If you become reverential towards your own body and mind, you will establish a clear distance between what is you and what is your body, what is you and what is your mind. And once you do that, the next day is victory, which I dash. Dasara or the Navaratri is from darkness to light journey. The last day is the victorious day when truth won, not because you fought, because you became aware. On the way you met so many people, you met Lakshmi, you met Saraswati, you met this, that. But above all, you became reverential towards the very instruments that you employ. The Ayudha Puja is the most significant aspect of the ten days. The basic instrument in your life is your own body and your own mind. To become reverential towards your own body and your own mind, if you have to become reverential towards something, naturally reverence comes with a certain distance. When you become reverential, something rises up there and you are here. If you become reverential towards your own body and mind, you will establish a clear distance between what is you and what is your body, what is you and what is your mind. And once you do that, the next day is victory, which I dash. So as in Sanatana Dharma, it is said that God lies in each and everything. So Ayudha Puja honors the divine power of tools, weapons and knowledge. Ayudha Puja reminds us to respect and care for tools, recognizing their importance in our daily life. It celebrates the power of knowledge, skill and creativity, acknowledging their role in our success. The festival pays tribute to Goddess Saraswati, patron deity of learning, music and art. Ayudha Puja symbolizes the victory of good over evil, highlighting the importance of humility and self-discipline. So the ninth day is celebrated as Ayuddha Puja and the tenth day is Vijay Dashami or Dashera where Lord Ram defeated Ravana. <laughs>